guys. This nice easy class is designed to help you de-stress. It's perfect for those days when you wake up feeling a bit anxious or for those evenings when you need a bit of help to fall asleep. Um, it finishes with legs up the wall pose so if you can practice near a wall that would be perfect. I hope you enjoy. Okay so we're going to start lying on our mat. making sure that you're in a nice comfortable position here. You can stay with the knees bent if that suits you, legs straight if that suits you. Just making sure that you're really feeling your connection with the floor. Allowing not only the head to become heavy, but the shoulders to soften, the rib cage to soften, the hips to become heavy, legs heavy, hands and feet relaxed. Taking a moment to just check in with where you're at. To be aware of the breath. Just allowing your breath gently deepen. I want you to think about breathing fully into both sides of your body. As you feel the chest rising, you should also feel the back ribs expanding downwards. Really slowing down the breath. Allow the body to become even heavier with every exhale we take. Then beginning to wriggle the fingers and the toes. Keep your eyes closed. Gently hug your right knee into the chest. And giving the right knee a hug, just place your hands on the shins. Start to draw the knee towards the right shoulder. Maybe taking a gentle sway. Making sure you're not building any tension in your arms. And then using your left hand, guide the knee down to the left side. Open your right arm up, come into a nice big twist. Just allowing that right shoulder to remain heavy. Relax your feet. Relax your shoulders. And take a deep breath. Rolling onto your back. Hug the knee into the chest again. And this time, gently lift your nose towards your knee, just keeping the shoulders relaxed. Softening the head and shoulders down again. Stretch your right leg out. Just take the arms up above the head. Wriggle into your fingers and your toes. And then gently bringing the left knee into the chest. Reach for the knee or the shin. Start to draw the knee towards the left shoulder. Make sure you're not creating any tension in the arms. Maybe softly swaying side to side. Using your right hand, Guide the leg down to the right side. Open the left arm up. Come into a nice big twist. Again, aiming to keep that left shoulder grounded. Feeling 
big breath here. And then rolling onto your back. Bringing both knees into the chest this time. Lift the nose to knee. Hooking into the body. And then placing the soles of the feet back down onto the floor. Wriggle the soles of your feet together. Let your knees open out to butterfly and place your hands on your lower belly. Bringing your attention back to your breath again. I want you to breathe into where your hands lie. So right the way down to your lower belly. Feel the hands gently rising as you breathe in and softening as you breathe out. Stay with these breaths for a moment. Allowing the arms to relax to the sides. Gently begin to sway the knees. There's no rush here, just moving slowly, keeping everything relaxed. And then bringing the soles of the feet back down onto the floor. Tuck your hands underneath your buttocks, palms face down. Lifting the feet up off the mat, slowly rock yourself up to sitting. And then just taking a gentle forward fold here, move your sit bones back. Allow your body to relax over the top of your thighs. Relax the shoulders, relax the head. Aim to breathe into the space between your shoulder blades now. With each exhale you take, your shoulders become heavier. Gently rolling back up. Take a moment to sit tall, relaxing the shoulders down the back. Take another big breath here. And then bringing the soles of your feet together, let your knees open up to butterfly. Option to bring your hands onto the ankles, maybe the hands onto the floor in front. Without any effort, just allow the head to hang. Again, taking a moment to breathe into your stretch. Really using the weight of your body here. making your way back up to sitting. Bring the knees back into the chest and then extending the legs out in front. This time I want you to straighten the legs. Shuffle the sit bones back again. And just starting to walk your hands forwards. Take a gentle sway, just allowing the head to be heavy. 
If you need to bend the knees, just go ahead and bend them. Working your way back up again. Again, there's no rush here. And staying in a forward fold, I want you to either rest the elbows onto the knees or thighs, resting the head in the hands, or we can bend the knees and take it a little bit higher, again resting head on hands. Wherever you are, try to get as much connection between your upper body and your lower body as you can. Allow the head to feel supported. Come back to your deep breath. And slowly lifting the head back up again, releasing the arms. We're going to gently bring ourselves round to all fours, hands and knees. Just keeping everything nice and slow, spreading through the hands, start to shift your weight side to side. Closing off the eyes again, draw gentle circles with the hips. Moving really mindfully here. Circling the hips in both directions. Slow cat cow. Inhale, looking forwards. Exhale, arching up. Slow your breathing right down. And try to keep your movement contained in your breath. At the end of the next exhale, start to push back to child's pose. Soften into your forearms, just allow the head to find the floor. Sinking as far back onto your heels as you can. Try to breathe into your lower back here. Slowly rising. Walk your hands forwards to the top of your mat. And then bringing yourself down onto your belly. Once you're down, take your feet slightly wider. Rest your head onto your hands. Slowly shake out the hips. Closing the eyes, just allow the legs to be really heavy. Breathe deeply into your belly. Deeply enough that you can feel your belly expanding on the mat.
slowly bringing yourself up onto your forearms. Slide the forearms in, elbows underneath the shoulders. Take a moment to extend through the spine, just gently lifting the navel. And then bringing your hands in underneath the shoulders again, make your way back down onto the floor and draw some gentle circles backwards with the shoulders. Pushing into your palms, make your way up and back to child's pose. But this time, keep your knees wide, keep your arms extended. As you wriggle back onto your heels, you're going to walk both hands to the left side of the mat. Sink back onto the right heel some more and relax the head. Big breath into the right side of your body. Walking the hands to the right side of the mat. Sit back onto your left heel, relax the head. Big breath into the left side of your body. Walking the hands back to centre. Rise back up to all fours. Bring your knees into parallel. And then sitting back onto your heels. Coming to kneeling, just rest the hands on the thighs. Seated cat-cow. As you breathe in, bring your hands towards you, start to lift your chest and then as you breathe out, reach forwards for your knees, rolling back from the navel. And inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, reach forwards for the knees. Two more of those, going with your breath. Inhale, lift the heart. Open up the chest. Exhale, reaching forwards for the knees. Last time, inhale, lift the chest. Open up the shoulders. Exhale, reaching forwards for the knees. And coming back to neutral with the spine, take your hands together behind your back interlocking your fingers, stretch down towards the floor. Open up the shoulders some more. Softening into your elbows, bring both wrists onto your left hip and then leaning your head over to the left, relax your right arm. Bringing both wrists onto the right hip, lean your head to the right and relax your left arm. Bringing the head back to centre, just rest the backs of the hands onto the thighs. Take a moment to check in with your breath again. your gaze soft. I want you to open your eyes and just make your way to a wall nearby. Let's try and keep everything as relaxed as possible here. 
And once you're at your wall, you're going to sit with the right shoulder resting against the wall. Gently leaning back into your hands, bring yourself down onto the floor and lift the legs up the wall. And you can wriggle yourself a little bit closer to the wall if you want a bit more of a hamstring stretch, but we really want to stay nice and relaxed here. And then either resting with the arms out to the sides or the hands on the lower belly. I want you to really allow the body to sink into the support of the floor. Allow the legs to feel supported by the wall. Focusing only on your breath. Just follow the breath as it moves in and out of your body. Allow the breath to move equally into both sides of your body. As you feel the chest rising, you should also feel the back ribs expanding. With each exhale you take, your head becomes heavier, your shoulders become heavier, your legs become heavier. Giving in to the support, the floor beneath you, the wall beneath you. Stay with these nice slow breaths. Gently wriggle into your fingers and your toes. Stepping your feet down the wall, just take a moment to draw the knees into the body. Roll yourself over to one side. Take a moment here before you bring yourself back up. Pressing down into your palm, bring yourself back up to sitting. 